si gira. I don't have a style, I don't have a clear vision of the thing. I'm, 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 in, I'm in the fog all the time. So it's very difficult, uh, it's impossible. Uh, and, and for a while I was very depressed by that, to have a, uh, a certain style, uh, consistent, to, to, to develop it and so on and so forth. And then now I, I, I actually enjoy it very much that I'm not bound to my own ideas, so to speak, so I can, I can uh, experiment, I can research, I can try different things. The structure of the stories, the way the stories are told, the way the film is made, uh, the, 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 the shape that these stories take, this is what uh, is essential for, for, for cinema, for literature as well. There's a comparison between Romania of today and Romania of 1980s because it, the, the film has cross-cut uh, part of it with, with, uh, with an older film from, from that time. Uh, it's not exactly that. It's, 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 it's about the representation of Romania of today with the, uh, in a montage with the, a certain representation of Romania during Ceausescu's dictatorship. So, and, and because the film is about uh, images and construction of images and, and our relation with images and the, the power of images to create fake realities, to manipulate, but also, you know, to have a, a connection with reality. So all these kind of questions um, exist in the, in the film. And, um, and one of these uh, elements is, as you mentioned, this montage with a, with a, with a film from the 80s. And uh, actually it started very simple because uh, I searched for, while well, doing my research, I, I, I knew that the first part of the film would be a, with a woman driving for her work. And then little by little studying the film, uh, watching it uh, a few times, you discover a lot of details that somehow are symbolical for, 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 for that era. And also, and I think that's very important, and these are the most of the moments I slow down in the film because they were very short, like one second, half a second that you don't properly notice when you watch the film. It was the kind of moments that the censorship would cut out if they would, I mean, uh, showing people waiting in lines for food that was um, impossible to show in a film uh, in the communist dictatorship time. So the fact that Lucian Bratu did that, I feel like it's like a message in a battle, you know? So I, I received the message and I slow it down so for everybody to see. So it's, it's all these things uh, put together. And, and it's true, it, 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 there, there is an analytical dimension in the film, I, I, I hope. Uh, it's an invitation for the viewers to analyze the images, to analyze the connections. So, because some of them for, are not clear, not even for me. So uh, where people ask you, oh, so what does, what does this moment mean? What does this montage mean? I say, well, I, I don't know exactly. If you're interested in images, or, uh, the, the kind of new images, the digital images, like the one you create now, li like everything, and uh, especially these big changes have a positive part and a negative part. The negative, I think, in this case is that uh, to understand and to create images, although it's a very simple mechanism to do it, but to understand and to, to, to do something more with them, you, you need uh, to, uh, to a kind of education. And there's always a thinking behind uh, uh, a good uh, creation of images. Now you're on the same level with some guy, some kid in the street that takes the phone and makes a film. I think that's amazing and that's great. And, uh, and uh, to be honest, I think 90% of um, professional filmmakers are worse than amateurs. Locarno is much more open to new forms, but you go to you know a big festival, they have a film made in IMAX, a film made on an HD camera, but there's now a small TikTok film in a competition, you know, they wouldn't consider it yet cinema. But I think that's going to change, and I think I think this is a very valid form of cinema. There is an energy into that, into these new, new kind of images. Of course, which is sometimes can be toxic. There's a lot of toxic things, toxic ideologies that you find this. So I'm not, I'm not denying this reality, but uh, the positive part of it is that it's a kind of energy and a kind of uh, primitive language, primitive uh, in quotes, that sends us back to, to the beginning of cinema in a way. When you see a TikTok film, I have the feeling I see a Lumiere Brothers movie in a way, and, and I'm interested in history of cinema. So I think if you really want to be, <laughs> to be, to like this kind of images, you have to, to start appreciating the game silent films, to appreciate again Griffith or, I don't know. <laughs>